what we do at Heartland goes beyond anything uh, a person could ever think or imagine. As educators, we have the opportunity to come into school every day and know that we're going to be able to invest in young people's lives. People are, are looking for an alternative to just different types of education and they want a nurturing, safe place for their child. You know, just bringing our children to school, you, you can just see such a, such a nice, comfortable atmosphere of love and friendship and fellowship. Well, as soon as I started having grandchildren 25 or 30 years ago, I began to uh, pray for a school, a Christian school in Columbiana. There were a number of parents that desired for there to be a Christian school here in Columbiana. They called a meeting for parents in the area to come together and to explore the possibility of starting a Christian school. And I think they were shocked at how many parents showed up. They wanted a place to nurture and help their kids and reinforce their values. In the fall of 96, we started our first year with 140 students in grades K through 12. Well, I see in each child a potential, a God-given gift, and our goal here is to nurture that potential and that intellect that God has given them. I want to be an artist. I want to be a teacher. I plan to attend college and major in biology. I'd like to either go into the accounting business and like follow my mom's and dad's steps or to become a missionary teacher. I just want to stay with my kids. <laughs> Heartland not only focuses on the emotional, psychological, educational needs, but also the spiritual, the whole child. The Christian education provides a student with not only the academic preparation to be successful, but also the spiritual and uh, moral foundations that will help the child to be successful in their life. We try to enforce and promote biblical values. I think one of the most important ones is to treat others as Jesus would treat them. And it's really kindness and love and, and acceptance that's very important here at Harland. As they come into the school, our purpose as educators is to help encourage them and nurture them so that they can take that talent and ability and use it uh, to fill the niche that God has for them in their lives. When I came, first came to Heartland, I was sort of behind in my classes, but the teachers have done a really good job of helping me catch up. Now I'm even taking some advanced classes. We actually have a wide variety of kids from different areas, different religions, uh, different economic backgrounds. We also have different programs in place for special needs children, and we're expanding those as well. It's amazing to see kids of different ages that interact so nicely together. My son, who's in sixth grade, uh, interacts real well with some of the, the kids that are in the high school. And uh, it's a blessing to see that because I know that um, the kids in the high school here are excellent role models. It's a great school. I really, really like it. We just really sense that it's something special at Heartland. We have an outstanding curriculum and we have seen students' test results uh, indicate that fact. Heartland has, over the last several years, scored at least a, a year and a half above grade level for grades K through 12. And that's quite an, a, an achievement. I try to get the students to uh, think creatively on their own. In my history classes, for example, they can do something which uh, appeals to them, like make a model, uh, they can perform, they can sing music, uh, they can cook, uh, something that has to do with the time period that we've been studying. So I want the kids to learn by doing, experimenting with their hands, their hearts, their heads, every, every aspect of them. We try to make it fun and interactive. That's my goal. I realize that we all have different abilities and talents. Right. Now let's be tough. Right. And I look at my job as a, providing an opportunity to bridge the gap. It is so crucial that we keep our eyes on what we're doing so that we don't get hurt. Capiche? Capiche! We want students to learn how to make decisions, to teach them how they can be discerning in what they do and what they say, rather than giving them a long list of things that they should do or shouldn't do. A lot of the tests that come in life aren't just academic. They're certainly uh, spiritual or they're moral. And uh, what we're trying to do is to help the students to become prepared. I challenge the students uh, to evaluate everything by God's Word. I may not give them an answer of what I think about uh, the particular issue, but I challenge them 
evaluate anything that you do according to the standards that you're given in Scripture. We can have fun, but we can also discuss uh, Christian issues. We can talk about, you know, the latest action movie that we just saw, but then we can also have discussions about theology and really deep issues and not feel uncomfortable. I think we uh, do a pretty good job of uh, giving the kids the instruction they need and challenging them to do their very best. Eight feet. Six I've worked in education for um, over 30 years, and uh, this is probably the finest faculty I've ever worked with. We're committed to creating excellence in, in all areas, and so I think we do a fantastic job preparing our students for college. The teachers, they ask you challenging things and don't just let you glide through. They make you work for your grades. I see a lot of caring, a lot of warmth and love among the students and the teachers. We reinforce those values. We pray with their children, for their children. Um, we just support what the family believes in. I've been able to become closer to God through the chapels, through the speakers we have, and through just having close Christian friends. I know without a shadow of doubt that uh, the, my children have grown from attending school here. That makes it invaluable. We try to develop a family atmosphere so the parents can be a part of this process. Matter of fact, they are the children's primary teachers. We're only assisting them. It's amazing for me as a, as a board member that every month as we meet, there are so many new things popping up and so many more people getting involved that it's just, I mean, it's exciting. And it's amazing just how we'll have various family members step forward and say, yes, I can help. I've never experienced anything like this. I'm very confident at the product that we put out at Heartland Christian School. We are invested in these kids' lives. That's why we're here. I really feel fortunate that our kids have a chance to come to Heartland. I want them to be able to make a difference where they go. And I think they will.